And new from us at the half hour, just as many Americans look forward to begin getting those $1,400 stimulus checks this weekend. Mobile County School employees receiving word today they're going to get a bonus too. Yeah, how about that, Arlie? Pack on the story tonight and Lee, the superintendent, Cressel Threadgill, announcing all full time employees will get that $1,200 bonus. Uh, Yalanese and Byron, uh, Superintendent Threadgill securing the $9 million needed to give those one time bonuses for uh, all the hard work over the last year. Again, it's all full time employees. This includes teachers, custodians, uh, cafeteria workers, and bus drivers. Uh, really, just a big thank. Thank you to end the year on a strong note. Call it a pandemic bonus. Full time employees with the Mobile County Public School System set to receive $1,200 for going above and beyond. Everyone has worked so hard this year, and uh, Mr. Threadgill's seen that. We've seen that. I know our parents have seen that, and our students have. And so, this bonus is a way to show them that we thank them and um, just so they can keep on going and finish the year strong. Orchard Elementary teacher Lisa Patterson says every little bit helps. Great, fantastic. I am so excited. And at the same time, I'm like, you know, we we here to provide a service and that's what we do. And Today's bonus announcement comes almost one year to the day after the pandemic surfaced in Alabama. Our first case of, con of confirmed case was announced earlier today. I am now issuing a state of emergency for our state of Alabama. Since then, these educators have been navigating new and innovative ways to reach their students. There's nothing normal about this year. As virtual learning became the new norm, teachers and students evolved. To make the uh, best out of any situation, you know, because to me, you know, no matter what it is, is what you make of it. Anytime you have a negative, make it a positive. At this time, about half of Mobile County students remain virtual, but school administrators anticipate most will return next school year. We will have in-person learning primarily. If students want to go to school virtually, they can go to the Mobile County Academy of Virtual Learning, mm -hmm. and we sent to parents the information on how to sign up for that. But we anticipate that if the numbers continue to go down, more people are vaccinated, next year will be a much more normal year. And they are certainly looking forward to that. And while it's just a formality, the school board uh, will take up the bonus issue at their March 22nd meeting. Uh, if approved, uh, the employees should get them over or before uh, spring break, which is the first week of April. Live tonight in Mobile, Lee Peck, Fox 10 News.